there's not really a trick to it. You just kind of, you got to act kind of almost like you're churning some butter or something. All right, man, well, it's done, so. I'm not really a technician repair guy. I'm a plumber. So what's the issue with it? It just won't turn on? Okay, well, let me take a look. I'll do all that I know how to do. Well, everything seems to be plugged in all right, so that's not the issue. Are you sure that this is the right remote for the TV? Oh, you're, you're not sure. Oh, okay, well, regardless of that, I mean, that could be the problem, but regardless of that, I'm gonna try something that I, uh, I learned this one in college from a girlfriend of mine. I don't know if your TV can quite handle the masculinity behind this technique, but uh, give it one of these. The trick is to just maintain eye contact. And any minute now, she should be popping up. Okay, let me just drop your remote for you. And uh, this one sometimes gets them a little bit too. No? She's not a responder, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am. I think your TV's broken. Yeah. It's the Meg. Welcome to live free. We live free. Welcome to our show, full of jokes. We all clowns, and we know the pilot of the show, Ed. And I'm a pilot, so just know if you want the smoke, you gonna get the smoke. I don't choke, but I choke. I stay woke in case I gotta take a joke. So think of me feel come a little free. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of the episode, or I'll make you choke on soap. To avoid dead, just sit tight and watch the show. You're welcome to live free. To live free. You can laugh now. You can laugh now. What do you mean I'm late for work? Yeah, I watch the time. Come on. Daylight savings time hit the other day? Oh. That explains a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take off. Hello, I am Ron Gomes, host today of the live free sketch show. You may know me from Midnight on Air with John Lopes and Live in Free. I also run my own sketch comedy YouTube channel, Draft of Humor, and I'm also a wide. My adapted while works include Limbo and a few other projects coming in near future. I want to make it very clear, I only doing this for the potential money. It has long been a dream of mine to get rid of, of stealing somebody else's ideas. Saturday Night Live is a massive successful so, how could this not be? And, wait, hold on. I'm getting an email from my manager. He says, not to mention my monetary wishes. <laughs> I feel I have spoken enough from a legal standpoint. Maybe it's time we play more skits. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. So there's this pirate, right? And he's got this parrot, all right? And the parrot's name is Alkaline Jack, all right? And the pirate's name is Sparrow. Not Jack Sparrow, because that would be copyright, but Mark Sparrow, Jack Sparrow's cousin. But we don't mention that because of copyright issues. And uh, 
So Mark Sparrow and the parrot, right? They're like crime solvers on the boat, you know. So one day on the boat, there's a murder. And the parrot, Jack Alkaline, he says to Mark Sparrow, Mark, um, you know, what are we going to do about this? Because a lot of people are dying here on this boat, right? And Mark says to Jack, uh, Mark being the pirate, Jack being the parrot, he says, what can we do about this? Because there's not much that we can do. Because there's no cameras invented back in the pirate days. Of course, Mark didn't say it like that because he didn't know what cameras were. But that's what he says, right? And the parrot, Jack, uh, alkaline he kind of just sits back like what do you mean there's not much to do this is all we do all we do is solve crimes and at the end of the day it doesn't matter if there's no cameras which he didn't say because he didn't know what they were either but it doesn't matter because we have to figure this out even if this means wrongly accusing someone hi didn't see you there <laughs> You're like me. You believe in abortion is a necessary thing for our society to- FUCK <laughs> OFF! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. If you're like me, you're one of the few Americans who believe abortion is uh, necessary for our society today. Many people fall victim to rape and unwanted children, and they don't want to have to birth them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I didn't see you there. Hi. I'm Jared. Again. <laughs> Fuck, I don't need- The death penalty has been used for many years as cruel- for cruel and unusual punishment. And I would like to abolish it and end it. Because nobody, not even prisoners, should be treated as harshly as they are. They might have killed somebody, killed thousands of people. <laughs> Need to be like a custom noise, like that we make, like a noise, like a pick a wheel, pick a bell wheel, 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 pick a wheel, pick a wheel, pick a bell wheel, pick a wheel, pick a wheel, pick a bell wheel. I am so sick and tired of hearing how I need to quit. This intervention is stupid. I can handle being without. One second. I can handle <coughs> being without this. I can handle being without this. I am not addicted. I just I get mad without it. It doesn't make me addicted. And anyways, the the. the they, this this used to be mint. Look, this menthol rate, it used to be like more minty. And I think they might have gotten rid of that flavor with the whole law changing and stuff. But that doesn't mean I'm going to keep buying. It's not like they got me into it. It's not like they trapped me into it and I'm going to keep buying. I'm, I'm, I'm able to say that the flavor sucks now, so I don't like it and I don't want to buy it anymore. But... Maybe you're all the addicted ones. <coughs> I said maybe you're all the addicted ones. Not me, though. I'm addicted, I can never be. Just let me. Oh, it tastes so good. This is your elderly grandmother here asking you to borrow her some money. Please reply fast as I am dying.
Wait, why am I using the voice? I'm typing this game. Ah, help me. I'm stuck in the dryer. So Mark says to Jack, why does it matter if we have to falsely accuse someone if that's what we have to do? We have to figure out who killed this person because if we don't, we're going to have a pirate ship filled with people that don't want to live on this pirate ship. They're going to start jumping off the edges. They're going to start going into canoes. They're going to start doing everything in their power to get away from us. And this isn't a democracy. It's the complete opposite, which they didn't know back then because those terms weren't invented, but that's basically what he's saying. And Jack, not Jack, Mark, Jack might be, you know, he might be there, he might be stopping him because they are cousins, but not in this story because that is legal infringement. But Mark says to the parrot, okay, let the people do it then. If they want to do it, they can do it. Because the reality is at the end of the day, I don't care if they do it. You shouldn't care if they do it because it's not our boat. Because the boat belonged to a boat owner named Macy. The same person who made the Macy Parade. Oh man, I'm hungry. You got anything to eat? We do have something, but it's extremely expired. Well, it usually doesn't bother me at all. How, how, how expired is it? It can't be that bad, right? I wouldn't speak so fast. These are so expired that they were actually printed in the Clinton administration. Okay, so what's that? Like 20, 30 years ago? Uh, try the first one. But I don't think you understand how expired these are. They're so expired that Emilio Estevez ate these on the set of The Breakfast Club. Well, he's not that old. That's a great movie. So, it, I don't really mind. It's kind of a pro and con type of thing. What are these things? I don't think you get what I'm going for here. And they're chips. But, these chips were some of the first made in human history. Jesus Christ opened the bag himself. Could you just leave religion out of this? And give me my goddamn chips, please? I told you I'm starving. No, you said you were hungry. Now you're saying you're starving. They're not synonymous. You never implied you were starving. Because to imply, or better yet, to implicate, means to say the actual thing. That's not true. And I think you know that's not true. Because implicating wouldn't be implicating if you just said what you were trying to say, then it's just talking, right? Oh, so now you have a degree in English and language arts theory? I see you've been studying a lot. You didn't do too good in school, huh? Can you just get me the chips? Please. And yes, I have been studying. Thank you for noticing. But please, just give me the chips. Sheesh. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I will. Huh. All these bags look new. I'm pretty sure that your mother threw the chips away. Yeah. Um, you could have whatever, but that sucks because those chips were pretty good. And now a new song from our musical guest, GMAC. You can check out his songs on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, anywhere that music is sold.
Honey, your tail hit me high, that's why I'm spitting. Stay alien, if you think you're free, just look at Jimmy Lee Curtis. I be your Michael Myers gay when I'm gone off the nickel. I get a little drunk and high steel. Take a knife, it you inside, sting past you, hit you in the eye. Oh, it's cool. That was my knife, though. Only the dudes who know what I'm referring to. And the girls who go jail before the cook get saved. I'm like Fred Kruger. I've come to save the day, so spread your legs, put a razor cream. Why do but a girl I want to do is shave you up? Fire the 13 to come up, Jason. Boy, his name is engraved on my blade, so I think I might get a little wobbly with it when you get tipsy on my D. It's going. <laughs> so, I can't remember what you said. No, I just want to make sure you got everything. Okay. She